What's good, my people? Today, we're putting LeBron James in the 1990s. So in the 90s, of course, Michael Jordan was the best player. He was 28 years old. So we're taking 28-year-old LeBron James, which comes from the 2012-2013 Miami Heat, and we're putting him in the 90s. Now, the only problem with that is if you look at NBA standings, there's only 27 teams in the league right now. It's 14 on the East, and it's 13 teams in the western conference now i have this board of 30 nba teams and we're just going to pick a random team and hope that a team that we pick is actually you know what i'm saying in the league right now so let's go six minnesota timberwolves they are 100 percent in the nba so we have 27 year old lebron james who will actually be 28 midway through the season in minnesota now the rest of his teammates you know what i mean i'm i'm trying to see scott brooks is the only name i know right now you know what i'm saying coach the oklahoma city thunder Sam Mitchell, I know the name. Luke Longley, I know the name. Everybody else, it, it's bad basketball. So we have LeBron in Minnesota, and that is the team that we will be selecting. Now, LeBron can leave Minnesota if he so chooses to. But for right now, we're only focusing on LeBron James being here and see how he would fare in the 1990s, basically by himself. All right, game one versus Utah Jazz. They lose by 21. LeBron 21, 9, 8, and 8. Took 14 shots. I don't okay. The Jazz have Carl Malone, John Stockton, all of that good stuff. So it might be tough for LeBron in this situation. 23, 18, 4, 3, 5. Okay, he's dominating the 90s right now. And he got a win here. And also what I noticed though, the NBA, in a sense, maybe this wasn't the official schedule, but they have a lot of rest days they, compared to what they have, you know, like now. So let's see. Lost to the Nuggets. 102 let's see lebron 13 9 5 and 2. now normally i would do 10 game sample size but i don't know if they did 10 game sample size back in the 90s to kind of like see their team so we're gonna go to the all-star break and just see and i'm also not gonna take jordan out for those two years that he missed y'all know he won in 91 92 93 he missed 94 and 95 when the rockets won came back and then 196, 97, 98. But I'm not going to take Jordan out from here. I'm just going to let him and Braun play all the way to 1998 and see, you know what I'm saying, who gets the MVPs, the championships, and all that good stuff. And if y'all want to see a simulation where I put Jordan in the LeBron era, which will basically be, you know, Miami Heat's LeBron, then we can do that too. Comment down below if that's something y'all want to see. But NBA standings, the Timberwolves are 14 and 32. So Braun is definitely having a tough first season. Bulls 38 and 10. Bulls will probably win the chip this season. And then LeBron, of course, is probably dogging. Okay, 25, 9, and 8. That's kind of like current LeBron stats right now, in a sense. 25, 9, and 8, 55 from the field, 29 from three, 79 from the free throw line. And like I said, he is 38 years old right now. He has a two-year contract for $435,000. Salary cap in the NBA is crazy now compared to what, you know what I'm saying, it was back then. I think I saw a video. They said Scottie Pippen signed a seven-year deal for $18 million or something like that. That's like a one-year deal now for people. All right, Michael Jordan wins the MVP. Larry Johnson takes Rookie of the Year. Deadlift Shrimp takes six man. Dave Robinson, uh, Depoy, Purvis Ellison, most improved, Rick Alderman, coach of the year, LeBron, first team all NBA, of course, averaging 26, 10, and 9. Three point percentage shot up to 36%. So that's good basketball there. Does he make a defensive team? Yes, he does. First team all defense as well. Miami Heat LeBron should have won defensive player of the year, but you know, they gave that to uh what's his name? Mark Gasol. Okay, and of course, LeBron does not make the playoffs he literally missed it by four games so 37 and 45 ninth seed and the bulls will probably win the championship i don't see why they wouldn't jordan oh they lost to the lakers wow so jordan does not get championship in 91 magic johnson gets finals mvp because the lakers win 16 and 12 and this how y'all know 2k be doing anything we never heard of antacumpo until Giannis. okay who is jer antacumpo why is he 36 and a 61 overall and a 14-year pro at that? 
Like, 2K maybe need to hire more people. Now, year two, LeBron comes in at a 98 instead of a 99. So, I don't know if that was a drop-off or, if you know what I'm saying, what happened there. And I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan would stay in Chicago with Scottie Pippen, of course. So, you know what I'm saying, LeBron having the same team. Don't know if we'll see the same thing. He come 22, 20, and 10. Okay, Bron's on a different mission this year. But can you beat Utah? And you beat Utah. Okay, Bron's on a different mission this year. 28, 5, 8, and 3. Carl Malone, John Stockton still there. Now, I'm doing first 10 games just because it's the first 10, but not, you know what I mean? I just want to see how the team looks compared to last year's first 10. 500 record puts him at 7th in the playoffs right now. So if the season ended today, they would be the 7th seed. Now, the question is, can LeBron make the playoffs this year while not making it to the playoffs last year? Jordan almost had a chip. You know what I mean? But we got to see. Okay, I like the improvement. 27 to 19 record at the All-Star break. That's definitely a playoff record. Minnesota third in the Western Conference at 27 and 19. Chicago is 42 and 6. Goodness gracious. Braun is averaging 28, 10, and 9. Shooting the basketball greatly. 46% from three is great basketball. Okay, that is great basketball from LeBron. I wonder what Jordan's averaging right now in 91 what 91 92 or this is 90 92 93 jordan's averaging 30 shooting 40 percent from three goodness gracious michael jordan's getting to it we know lebron's an all-star so we don't even have to check that but can lebron get mvp after making minnesota a better team well i don't know because if they start falling off it might get tricky 32 and 23 mm -hmm. all right jordan back-to-back -back mvp so he's up 2-0 in the mvp race Shaq is in the league rookie of the year Rick Smith, six man, Pat Ewan, Depoy, don't know who that is. Phil Jackson, coach of the year. The Bulls went 70 and 12. LeBron back on first team all NBA, averaging 28, 9 and 9. Basically, definitely better in field goal percentage wise all across the board. Improvement in the field goal, three pointer, and free throw. You know what I'm saying? Does he make a defensive team though? Jordan on all defensive first, LeBron on all defensive second. I mean, we'll, we'll kind of take that. But Minnesota made the playoffs, they were the fifth seed with a 47 and 35 record. So they must have lost the tiebreaker to Seattle to be the fifth seed and Seattle to be the fourth seed. So that's gonna be interesting to see. Minnesota with game one, game one. Minnesota game two. Can we get game three? We do, do we sweep? We, oh, I'm sorry. First round is best of five. So yes, we did sweep 3-0. Now we play the first seed at Portland Trailblazers. 95 overall Clyde Drexler. Let's see. Okay, Minnesota. Minnesota. Ooh, Portland. Minnesota. Wow. Come on, LeBron. Let's get to the final. Yes, sir. Eastern Conference Final 7 seed San Antonio Spurs. Michael Williams, David Robinson. Oh, yeah. This was way before Tim Duncan. Bron could probably go to the finals right here. Year two. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We get that LeBron and Jordan finals. In the second season of the 90s, game one goes to Mike. Of course it does. Jordan, 22, 7, and 7. Braun, 24, 7, 5, and 3. I got Jordan winning just because Braun doesn't have enough. Yeah, Braun doesn't have enough. Swept in the finals. Jordan has two MVPs, one championship to Braun's nothing. Okay, so LeBron left Minnesota and decided to go to the Phoenix Suns on a one-year deal. So it's LeBron, Kevin Johnson, Jeff Hornacek, Dan Marley. That's not bad basketball right there. And he's still in the West, so he could still meet Jordan in the finals. Now, this is the 93-94 season where Jordan would have been out of the league. Wow, and they smacked the Clippers. Goodness gracious, 45-8-7. And, and LeBron get a chip this year? Smacked the Spurs, too, 23-5-8. His team is much better than what he just had in Minnesota. But like I said, this is the 93-94 season where Jordan would have been um, out of the league due to his first retirement. Still a 500 record, though, with Phoenix, and that has him sixth. But I don't know. He probably could get past six. We'll do all-star break right here and just see. If Braun leaves Phoenix after this year because he did only sign a one-year deal, is it safe to say he's ring chasing? I don't know. 22 and 26 at the all-star break. I'm telling you now it's not a playoff team, right? Yeah, it's not a playoff team. They are in the 10th seed, but 22... You're four games away from the fifth seed. You're not getting the first seed. Lakers are first. But you're four games away from being a fifth seed. So it's very possible that they could clean that up. The Hornets are first in the Eastern Conference. So the Bulls still have Jordan, still have Pippen. But they're fourth right now. And LeBron, 
is averaging a whopping 24, 8, and 8. Field goal percentages are still looking good, but it's other people on his team that's actually pitching in. Five players in double figures. Not bad basketball, but can you make the playoffs? Yeah, I say if you don't make the playoffs and you only sign a one-year deal, I think he leaves. I think he leaves, but you never know with 2K. Clyde the Glide Drexler snatching at MVP, 25 or 24, 8 and 7. Vin Baker, rookie of the year. Jay Humphrey, six man. David Robinson, Depoy, Robert Pack, most improved. Rick Alderman, coach of the year. LeBron back on first team All NBA. Number drop off for sure. 24, 8 and 8. I mean, but hey, he's shooting better. Field goal percentage and three point percentage wise. Played a little less minutes. Shot worse from the free throw line. Don't know what that means, but he did go back to all defensive first team. So he picked it up in that category and Phoenix has to play the Lakers in the first round because they got the six seed with a 46 and 36 record. So another tiebreaker loss and then also a game away from being a fourth seed. I don't know how Utah is second with a 41 and 41 record. I don't know what the 90s is doing, but this Lakers team is this Showtime Lakers without Kareem? Magic, Byron Scott, James Worthy. I'm not going to say Showtime Lakers. That could be a stretch. But it's some of them Lakers win game one, game two. They might sweep. Oh, yeah, they swept. So, bronze out of there, buddy. We're going to simulate the playoffs. Let's see who makes it to the finals. Jordan. Jordan now has two championships, two MVPs. It is still Michael Jordan's 90s. 33-8-6. and six. Finals MVP. Anybody important retire? Moses Malone. Magic Johnson is still playing, buddy. Told y'all this LeBron lost, he was leaving. Now he goes to Milwaukee, one-year contract. He might be ring chasing, bro. He's only signing one-year deals and not long-term. If he don't win to Milwaukee, I guarantee he leaves again. Okay, 28 and 20 at the All-Star break. This is definitely playoff somewhere. Milwaukee, 28 and 20, fourth seed. Oh, I forgot Eastern Conference. So now he has to beat Jordan to get to the finals where he won't see Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Clippers first in the West and then LeBron, decent stats, right? 25 10 a lot of rebounds and eight shooting the best of his career so far bro yeah this jordan guy is on a tear man mvp glenn robinson rookie of the year billy owens lebron gets no awards but he is getting first team all nba stavages woo the numbers is dropping 23 10 and 8 but the field goal percentages are still pretty high but none of that matters if he's like not making the playoffs and not doing anything fourth seed so if you beat charlotte you play Jordan in the next round, 49 and 33. So I'm just going to simulate the round and see can you beat Charlotte, which you do. Now you got to play Jordan. He swept you in the finals, but can you get a win in the playoffs? 2-1, 3-1, it's over. Count your days. Yeah, buddy. LeBron will be leaving. Oh, the Clippers win the championship this year with Shaq. Wow, 30 and 14. I got LeBron leaving, bro. He's ring chasing. He's going somewhere better than Milwaukee. I got him leaving. I just don't want to see him join the Bulls. He joins the Bulls. I'm taking him off of Chicago. Not going to lie to y'all. I told you he was leaving the Bucks. I told you. Nowhere to be found. Yep, I told y'all he was ring chasing too. Because if he don't win the ring here with Carl Malone and John Stockton, then it's just not in the cards for him. And Utah is the only place that he signed a long-term deal. Three years, $26 million. Yep, this is the best record we've seen all sim. 36 and 11, man. That got to be top of the West. Yes, it is. 36 and 11. First seed in the western conference bulls are first in the east so we're definitely going to get another jordan uh braun finals matchup he is leading in scoring okay 24 9 and 8 field goal percentages a little drop off in three point percentage but that's okay where is this john stockton guy okay cool john stockton 11 assists carl malone averaging a dub and he's only 32 he's not the old carl malone yet jordan got more accolades than lebron because we only got like two or three seasons left he got more accolades kg rookie of the year Bron still not winning anything, but first team all NBA, he's there 24, 9, and 8. So solid stats. Second team, uh-huh. Third team. Okay, cool. Utah is first in the West with a 55 and 27 record. Best record, best team. Bulls are second, 59 and 23. So we're definitely gonna simulate by the round. If Utah loses at any point before LeBron gets to face my boy they almost lost they beat seattle in seven lebron has to i mean michael has to play the heat and look at this when bron gets to the finals mike can't get past miami who you know i mean okay they're, they're decent around but okay bron you got to get you a chip you know wow okay come on bro let's get you a chip baby three one 
three two three three braun are you actually gonna shit the bed and not get a championship here like at this point if you don't get a chip it's like where do you go oh well you can't go nowhere you signed three years you might get a chip in utah okay 122 to 109 lebron gets him a championship and he gets the finals mvp averaging a triple double shooting 57 83 47 that is great basketball well it might be shaq's time because uh he got mvp this season Allen iverson rookie of the year and lebron well damn shaq got mvp and depoy lebron's nowhere to be found first team all nba though averaging 22 9 and 7 do we get a defensive team yes sir first team all defense utah ends up being second in the west Michael Jordan and the Bulls are first in the East. Scottie Pippen just literally had no progression. He's been a 91 overall, almost like all simulation. So can we get LeBron back to the finals? Okay, he almost lost there to the Spurs. Okay, comeback win there. Okay, Bron to the finals. Jordan just can't, when it's Bron's turn, Jordan just can't make it. Who's on this Magic team though? Jason Kidd, Nick Anderson, Denny Scott, LaFonso Ellis. Sean Bradley, Scott Skiles. I know everybody who I just named. Does that show my age? I don't know. Braun gets a championship, though. So he has two championships. He did not average a triple-double this season. And we only have one season left. But Jordan definitely has the accolades because of the MVPs. I think Jordan has two chips, maybe three chips. Braun has two chips. But Jordan is winning in the MVP department. And with this being the last season coming up, 97-98, you know what I'm saying? LeBron has to, he's going to lose the MVP race, but he probably can take the championship race. Let's see, awards. He's a two-time champion, two-time finals MVP, six-time All-Star. Jordan, on the other hand, is a three-time champion, six-time MVP, three-time finals MVP. Okay, so LeBron needs a championship this season to tie Jordan in chips. But he will not even come close to winning the MVP race. I told y'all it was Shaq's league, bro, because he went back-to-back -back MVPs. Timmy D, Rookie of the Year, Shaq D, Poy. Yeah, yeah, all that good stuff. LeBron does not make first-team All-NBA this year, but he makes second team. Averaging what, though? What put him on second team and not first? 22, 8, and 8. Same shooting splits for the most part. Still on all-defensive first team, though. Jazz are the second seed in the west with a 60 and 22 record bulls 50 and 32 this would be great for lebron to play jordan in the finals to tie and it's not happening because jordan just they just stink now they just can't get to the finals i was trying to say it would have been great for bron to get to the finals and play jordan to tie the championship race but well shit bron didn't even make the finals either so clippers hornets was simulated and Shaq, this is this is literally like Shaq literally just ran this whole thing just now. So 36-14. Finals MVP for Shaquille O'Neal. So like I said, LeBron James finishes off in the 90s with Jordan. As a two-time champion, two times finals MVP, seven-time all-star, six times on all NBA first team, one time on second, and six time on all uh first team on defense. Then Jordan definitely had the better stats. Three-time champion, or better accolades, three-time champion, six-time MVP, three-time finals MVP, 14-time All-Star. Well, that doesn't really count because we're not going to count anything that happened before the 91-92 season. But from in the 90s, his accolades were still better than LeBron's. If you want to see me do this with two other people, well, not really two other people, but anybody else y'all want to see me throw in the 90s, comment it down below. And like always, appreciate y'all for stopping by, sticking through. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.